So, today we have some more news on the upcoming Battlefield Hardline DLC, Criminal Activity. We knew a lot about what was coming anyway, we had a trailer that was released late last week and we've had a lot of information from EA already, but Visceral have now released some more in-depth information on the six new masks and the Bounty Hunter game mode. Let's start with those masks though. There's been a bit of a shake-up with how these things are going to work. So far we have the dinosaur and the wolf mask, both of which are stupidly hard to obtain, requiring you to get $10 million worth of in-game cash in your wallet to be able to unlock them. You don't have to spend anything, you just have to get that amount in your wallet. Currently, the wolf mask is located on the criminal faction and the dino mask is on the cop faction and this is the first change. The dino mask is now moving permanently to the criminal faction and this is to make way for the four new pieces of headgear coming to the cops with the criminal activity DLC which much more suits the look of what a cop might wear. I mean, I don't think you've seen many of them running up and down the streets of London wearing dinosaur masks. So those four new pieces of headgear for the cops are as follows. The motorcycle helmet, the tactical helmet, the riot helmet, and the ballistic helmet. Each of these four new masks, other than just looking different, do now come with a unique perk as well. Do you remember how the dino and wolf masks did absolutely nothing other than make you look pretty cool on the battlefield. Yeah, well, now all the masks available in Battlefield Hardline, that includes the old ones and the new ones, will have an in-game XP boost applied when wearing them. So for the cops, we have this setup. The motorcycle helmet will apply a 10% gearhead bonus. The tactical helmet applies a 20% reputation XP boost. The Riot Helmet applies a 10% team play boost and the Ballistic Helmet applies a 20% quick draw XP boost. In effect, Visceral have gone back on what they said during the lead up to Battlefield Hardline which was the masks would be purely aesthetic, now making them available in the game all with an XP boost. The same applies for the Criminal Faction which is getting two new masks to accompany the Dino and Wolf masks which are now only available to them. The Rabbit Mask, which applies a 10% gearhead boost, and the Gorilla Mask, which applies a reputation XP boost by 20%. The Dino Mask will boost your quick draw XP by 20% now, and the Wolf Mask will apply a 10% team play boost when equipped. So, no longer are the masks that made many people cry <laughs> completely useless. They do now have an effect on the score that you'll get each round when you wear one. The six new masks coming in the DLC, however, will be assignment based, with some harder to obtain than others, and I think it's safe to say that the 20% boost masks will be the harder of the bunch to get your hands on. And from masks, we move to the new game mode, Bounty Hunter. And for those of you familiar with the kill confirmed game mode from Call of Duty, well, you're gonna feel right at home here. Visceral's description is the following. When a player is taken out, a team coloured coin is dropped in the world by their body. When an enemy coin is collected, it is added to your team's score. Friendly coins can be collected to deny the enemy the ability to score your team's coin. The first team to collect enough enemy coins to hit the limit wins the match. Essentially, this is Team Deathmatch but with a small focus. Rather than just mindlessly killing people, your aim is to collect the bounties left behind when either an enemy or a teammate dies. Collect enough and you win. It sounds simple enough but I'll be honest, Kill Confirmed was one of my favourite game modes in the Call of Duty franchise and it's nice to see it make its way into Hardline. It is basically a straight up copy of Kill Confirmed which I am a little bit disappointed about. I think maybe a little bit more creativity could have been used here and maybe not just introduce a game mode straight from Call of Duty in your first DLC <laughs> might not have been the greatest idea but the maps do lend themselves to the game mode apparently. One of them being very small apparently that's Black Friday with lots of choke points 
Code Blue and the Beat are a little bit more spread out but still offer that all out infantry combat and backwards is the largest of the lot which does support hot wire so we know that one's going to be much bigger than the other three so maybe kill confirmed does make sense on these maps we'll just have to wait and see but there you go you're all up to date on battlefield hardline i'll be posting some more cool hardline content next thursday so stay tuned for that and i'll be returning to the jungle map on battlefield 4 very soon because dice LA have finally added textures to the trees and environment and it looks really cool so i'll do an update video probably later this week but thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you could leave me a like that'd be awesome and don't forget to hit up g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on some of the best games out there the link's in the description but until next time my name is westy and i'll catch you guys in the next video